World War II Aerodrome Construction in New Guinea. This is the temporary mock-up of the front cover of my new book, Coming Soon, Dad's War Photos, Adventures in the South Pacific. It's based on the 800 pictures my father took in World War II. For more information and to be notified when the book is published, sign up at dadswarphotos.com. Facebook fans, like our page at facebook.com forward slash dadswarphotos for exclusive content. What is an aerodrome? It's an old-fashioned word for an airport. It had a series of runways, taxiways, a control tower, alert areas, and plain parking lots called dispar dispersal areas. Here is my dad's friend, Habits, on a bulldozer pulling an eight-yard scraper pan. Here is an easy way of emptying a four-ton dump truck. Here's a bulldozer pulling an eight-yard scraper pan. The pan on the left can hold eight yards of earth. Here the men are laying pierced steel planking, PSP, otherwise known as Marston matting. This steel mat provides a sturdy surface for planes to land. There's no time to go back to the camp to eat, so it's chow time in the mud. Here is a completed section of taxiway. A taxiway is narrower than a runway. A runway is 100 feet wide. This looks to be maybe 50 feet wide. <clears throat> Here, Lieutenant Betson is rolling and packing a parking spot for an airplane. They called it a hard standing. Every hard standing had to have a levee or revetment around it. Here, the machinery is building a revetment around a hard standing using bulldozers and eight-yard pan scrapers, or scraper pans. Here is a view. Engineers are supervising the repair of bomb damage done to the airstrip. The crane in the center is lifting the 100-foot wide section of steel matting. Notice there are P-38 fighter planes parked on both sides of the strip. This is a zoomed in portion of the left side of the previous photo showing more detail. The P-38 planes are easier to see right here. Now this is an actual dispersal area map of Mokmer Aerodrome in Biak. Biak was a small island off the coast of New Guinea. Now this looks like a zipper pattern, but each of the black nodes here was a hard standing or parking lot along a taxiway. As you can see, there was a series of taxiways throughout this whole airdrome or airstrip, airport. And where's the runway? Here it is right here. The runway ran the whole length of this airdrome. It was 7,000 feet long. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's read this. This is an airplane dispersal area map of Mokmer Airdrome in Biak. Each node along the interconnected taxiways was a parking spot for an airplane called a hard standing. And each spot had a levee or revetment built around it for protection in case a bomb exploded nearby. This design minimized the damage an enemy plane could do on a bombing or strafing run. 
The runway is denoted as the long black strip at the bottom of the map and was 7,000 feet long by 100 feet wide. These are photos taken from my new book, Dad's War of Photos, Adventures in the South Pacific. Go to dadswarphotos.com to sign up to be notified when the book is published and for more information. Thanks for watching.